How you doing today? It's Anthony Ganji, host of Tear Talk, and I want to talk a little bit more about the active shooter in Las Vegas. Because as I'm watching the news, they're trying to push a political agenda of extreme left in which they're trying to limit our abilities to protect ourselves by taking this extreme and then generalizing it out because that extreme fits that political agenda. And the public buys into that, guys. The public buys into that. It's crazy how they'll take this extreme, politicians, and they'll use that extreme as a catch-all. And that catch-all will then be used to justify their political agenda. Let me tell you something. This is what I've learned in life. There are no catch-alls. The answers don't, don't, don't lie on the end of either side of the spectrum. They don't lie on the end of the right or the left. It's in the middle. It's in the road of compromise and constructive dialogue that starts on even ground. Equality. And then we move forward. But if we keep on looking to the left or to the right for answers... We're always going to stay divided. Always. You know, our number one goal right now is to protect ourselves. Times are hard. Times have dictated right now that we are vulnerable. And we're becoming more vulnerable when people try to put laws in play that limit our chance to survive. And this isn't a politician talking. I'm not a politician. The reason why I'm respected in my career is because I don't play politics. I do what's best for the career. Because if I stayed on the left or right, every time a new situation came up, I'd have to change. And I don't. I stay directly in the middle. And from experience in life, from experience as 15 years in law enforcement... I'm going to tell you something right now. Eliminating our ability to protect ourselves by pushing your political agenda based on an extreme, it's sad. Because we're going to follow the rules, we're going to follow the laws that you put in play, but the bad guys, they won't. Let me, let me just say that again, because that seems to not be understood. The bad guys won't. They're going to find their ways to circumvent and go around whatever rules you put in play, whatever security measures you put in play. And when shit hits the fan, because it will, who's going to protect you? Who's going to watch out for you? You know, sometimes when the aggressor knows that there's a weapon present, they may think twice about pushing forward with their violent act. I have learned that the aggressor, if we want to prevent, has to fear the potential victim. That's the truth. The only way we could prevent active shooters is for the person that's getting ready to commit to that act, they have to fear the target. And the target has to be able to defend itself. And you can't use an extreme and generalize that out to fit your political agenda because each situation is different. But the one thing that will stay the same is that we have a right to protect ourselves. That's the consistent thing in all the things that we ever discuss. That we have a right to protect ourselves. And it's funny, the people that push the extreme left, I remember we had an argument not so long ago about schools, active shootings in schools, and should the teachers be trained and certified, so they're being trained by people who are certified to do that, should those teachers be allowed to carry? Should the SRO be allowed to carry? And of course, there was arguments that the kids would fear the guns in school. Well, guess what? If the kids were told that those guns in school are there to protect them, and it was explained to them, they wouldn't fear. Now they fear because there's no one to protect them. 
when you remove the guns, there's no one to protect them. Just the gun being present is enough for someone to think twice before attacking that school. Therefore, the school is no longer a soft target. But again, it's funny because I've never seen an argument against armed guards protecting their money. But I see arguments against protecting human life. This is a quick vlog. The end game of this is just to kind of mention that don't use mass casualty to push your political agenda. Don't take an extreme and generalize it out as if you have the catch-all answer because you don't. The answer today came in first responders who are armed and ready to take out that threat. That was your catch-all answer today. And right now, all we can do is react. The people that are being trained to take down active shooters, it's reactionary training. You know why? Because the people that decide to commit to an active shooter, decide to take out targets, it's in their mind. They have their own motivations. So the best way to prevent is to get into their mind and make sure that they fear their target. Make them think twice about attacking that target because we're not vulnerable. But if you eliminate our chance to do so, then all we're ever gonna be able to do is react. That's all we're gonna be able to do. And targets that would be protected will no longer be protected. The left, the right, there are no catch-all answers. Start looking for middle ground. Start constructing a bridge that looks for equality. Let's move forward and stop standing on divisive ends, on either end of a spectrum. Let's make efforts to move in the middle. This is not about politics anymore. It's about human life. Come on, people. Let's go in the middle, shake hands, and discuss what needs to be done to protect us. And stop worrying about your political agenda because shit changes and we need to be ready for the times. Take care, guys. Always a show is Tear Talk.